The week ahead on the bold and the beautiful promises to a big one for the love-slash-hate triangle between Deacon, Sheila, and Bill. Actually, it's not so much a triangle anymore, is it? At this point, the madwoman feels zilch for her former fiancé except loathing, a fact that she is only too ready to make clear when they come face to face on Wednesday, April 19. Deacon, on the other hand, regardless of the role that he played in bringing her to justice, Sheila still has a soft spot for her more creative lover boy, and though the ex-con knows that having anything to do with public enemy no, one is a bad and slash or terrible idea, he can't help but care for her. Yes, even now. Scene Cannon can only shake his head over his character's connection to the femme fatal who shot Taylor, Steffi, and Finn. And that's just the tip of the iceberg where her crimes are committed. Deacon got over his head with Sheila almost immediately. He tells Soaps.com. And he's been there ever since. I don't think he expected to develop feelings for her. Remember, at first, she basically blackmailed her way into his life by threatening that if she went down, she'd take him with her, he adds. But the longer they spent together in that tiny little apartment, the more protective he became of her, which was obviously because his feelings were growing. Along with them, his problem. On Thursday, April 20, Deacon sets in motion a plan to handle his lingering longing for Sheila. One that we can only hope sends him careening into the arms of this character. Whether it does or it doesn't, it would still be a refreshing change of pace to see the reformed schemer make a good decision and realize that just because he wants something, or in this case, someone, it doesn't mean that he should have it or her. Perhaps he can finally demonstrate for the rest of the characters on Bold and Beautiful that it's oak to date outside of the Forrester, Logan, and Spencer families. Complicating matters will be what happens on Friday, April 21. Sheila makes a confession to Deacon. Anyone else want to bet that it's that she remains head over heels in love with him? But what kind of future can she imagine them having? She's being sent up the river for murder one, and if he continues to canoodle with her, he'll be violating his own parole. It's a bad idea any way you slice it. Which is why Deacon is almost sure to give his heart to Sheila, even at the risk of damaging his relationships with his family. The real problem is Brooke and Hope, Cannon says. He's on solid footing and a positive path for the first time in ages, maybe ever. He's got his own business, and his daughter is proud of him, which is the most important thing in the world to him, he continues. So yeah, these feelings for Sheila are pretty darn inconvenient, given that they could cost him everything. Were Deacon to pursue a relationship with Sheila, it could turn out to be even worse for someone else than it will be for him. Hope. Her mental state lately has seemed troubled. She's been flashing back a lot to her mom expressing her relief that Hope has never been drawn to the dark side. If Deacon too showed her that the pull of the baddies is just too great to resist, what effect would that have on her? Would Hope finally snap? If the show goes through with this devastating twist and Deacon's affection for Sheila plays a role in it, he might never forgive himself.